I think to me these are idols in the government that's, that are spreading such a, such a propaganda fast. If government is interested in, in looking after kids, there are, are over a thousand street kids in Kampala. During the day they are out on the street lights to beg for money. At night they turn out to be, to be the opposite. So to me, if government is seriously interested in taking care of kids, they should first get off these street kids in Kampala. Then another thing, anyone who looks at this young boy as a threat to us, to me, I, I can't believe it. Me too, I remember by the age of five, we were doing work in the massacre. We we look after cows, look after pigs, piglets, goats, and the rest. And this, the big guns you see on this planet Earth, the late Michael Jackson, uh, this footballer, Leonie Messi, many names, they started young. So to me, my humble appeal is to the parents of Fresh Kid or his manager, is to make sure that Monday to Friday, the boy is in a class. If it's time for class, let him be in a class. If it's time for games, let him be in games. If it's time to sing, let him sing. That's it. Nachiwala, she's my friend. I believe she's, she was not posted well. I believe Nachiwala was misinformed. I believe she was misinformed. And in, uh, Muchala Nachiwala, your Miss Nachiwala, the Minister for, for Youth. Before you can look into this young boy, please get off these, these young boys on the streets of Kampala. Then we appreciate your work. Actually, fresh kid is not a threat to our lives. These young boys you see on the traffic lights, they're a threat to our lives. Let them create schools for these street kids, then we appreciate their work. But as of, as of now, I support this young boy, fresh kid. But another thing government must do, or oh, you guys must do, you should verify the real age of this young boy. His mental intellect, I can't believe that this boy is seven years. If he's seven years, he's a special breed. There's no government, it's a dirty thing. To me, when you talk of government, you remember what Olanya said in the parliament? There's no government. It's a collection of ministers who have no guidance. Still think this government will take care of your children, you are dreaming. If you see a talent in your young boy, support him. If you see a talent in your young girl, support her. If you see your girl can swim, try and help her. If you see your boy can be a good footballer, help him. If your boy has a talent of singing, support him. Don't expect this government to support your children, period. Uh, because the, the, current, the, the, the current breed of rulers simply don't care about you. They simply care about their children. Their children don't go to school in Uganda. They go to school in Nairobi, in the US. They're in international schools. So when you talk of I see you a fresh kid, they don't even know him. You're getting me. They simply don't care about you. That's, that's why we are telling you, you guys, America, it's called America got talent. Fine. The systems and the systems in the US, they are very clear. They will give an opportunity to each and every person. If you're a footballer, there are chances. If you're a basketballer, there are chances. If you're an athlete, there are chances. If you are, you are a singer, there are chances. So systems in the, in the developed world support each and every person. Systems in Uganda don't support you. They, they support the ruling class. That's it. In Nigeria, and by the way, that young girl we are talking about, Emanuela, she's a girl, I think. In the, is she in Nigeria? In yeah. Uganda. Nigeria. Nigerians have this, it's called brotherhood. If all the people on social media stood up to them and said, we, we are behind Fresh Kid, no one will even mention his name. So let's stand up, all of Ugandans. The way we've been supporting uh, Queen Abinacho is the same way we should support this young boy, Fresh Kid. Thank you.